I wanted to give an update on Tiny Home Hub and show everyone how it's going. I think this is important because I need to show when things go right and I need to show things when they go wrong as well. So I have been posting using Article Fiesta on Tiny Home Hub and we're not here to talk about that specifically. We're actually going to be talking about Koala AI or Koala Writer or whatever it is. And I actually don't think the quality is great and I, I did put an affiliate link and I think like five people bought. So like, sorry about that. Um, I haven't actually taken any of the money from it. Um, it was like $25 or something, but I'm, I'm no longer recommending people use this. And I wanted to talk about why in this video. So you can see this like massive drop in impressions here. And yeah, it, it was, it's very, very interesting what happened. So if I go on pages and I sort by impressions, you'll see that this article right here, Best Handheld Gadgets, Best Sellers 2023. This is an article that was written by Koala AI. And yeah, it you know, it's a standard article, but I just, I don't really think that Google gives a crap about this kind of page. Like these are just getting churned out and it's really obvious to them that it's 3.5. And something that Koala actually does is it produces these long paragraphs here and I don't know, it's just such a generic article that I, I can understand why Google has done what it's done. So let, let's talk about what Google has done specifically to this page. And that should promote the point a little bit about bad AI content and good AI content. Now you can watch the video I released a couple of days ago. I'm not going to go into two men again, but you can see the difference between good content and bad content between these two pages. So this is something I have seen on two men as well. Occasionally, if I write an article and yeah, just sometimes this just happens. Um, but you can see it was 8.29 K impressions in basically a month, which is really, really interesting to see. And then just bang, it just got completely obliterated. And that's actually the reason for most of the, like this big impression drop. And people will say that this is because of helpful content update or whatever, just because of the timing. But I, I have a much better theory as to why this is. And I did talk about this in my video the other day as well, but I wanted to go a little bit more into detail. And if you just open this page, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like I think they're, I think what Google are doing is they're relying much more on user signals now because users can tell if content is just absolutely trash or not. Um, so if I were Google. That's exactly what I would be focusing on, on as well. And I mean, there is just this massive Amazon affiliate disclaimer. The reason I did this is just because I don't want any problems and I'm not that bothered about this website. So I just put a massive affiliate disclaimer here. This is not the way to do it at all. Uh, and then there's an ad in the affiliate disclaimer. And then there's another ad here, another ad here. And then what? And then there's another ad here. And then look at this just wall of text. Who is going to read this article? Like literally nobody, you have to scroll one, two, three, four, four times just to get to some writing and then five, six times to get to the next header. This is not the way to do content. Instead, what I suggest you do, this is what I've been doing recently is I've been using custom instructions. It feels really nice to be back on chat GPT. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm using this custom instruction here, which I will go through in a second. I'm just going to put it here. And then this one here goes in this one here. Now this will be in the description as usual. You guys know me. So just before I go through the custom instructions, or they have been through these a few times. Um, and let's just go through them now, actually. So you should use short, snappy sentences and creativity, burstiness and perplexity in all of your responses. You should try to internally link through href anchor text keywords, a maximum of once per link per article. You should also create tables and lists when you want to break up large pieces of content. You are writing for two men.it. This is so important. You need to give it brand information. A luxury Italian multi-brand store specializing in high quality brands. Use these internal links throughout the article and then I'm going to show you how to get the internal links really quickly, spread them throughout the article and use logical anchor text with keywords inside two specific pages. I know that I repeat myself a lot in that, but it just seems to work. And then in the second part, respond in Markdown, write fully formatted articles that can be copied and pasted directly into a CMS. And that will rank on Google. Give your opinion on topics, but make sure to remain fairly neutral. 
give life examples occasionally. Every few paragraphs respond with a list or table. Now I'm going to add something else here because I have I really have been focusing on something else as well, which is uh, at the very top have a key takeaways column, which gives all the information that someone wants from an article and all their questions. Again, this is something that develops. That's why I'm actually making this video because I know I've talked about this a few times, but I just wanted to show the difference between bad content and good content. This does take longer, but once you have a custom instruction for your business that works, then the rest of it is so easy. So I'm going to hit save there and then I'm going to go to two men. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about two men, but I mean, this is just the easiest way to show you an example because I'm most used to writing about this website specifically. So we're going to use the scraper link here. So I'm just going to hit scraper. And then I'm going to go to sheets.new. You can slow this part down if you are not following. I know that it's quite complicated now that I've had to teach people how to do this. So copy and paste into sheets.new, so a new Google Sheet um, document. And then you want to right click on the A column and then you want to sort Z to A or A to Z. It doesn't actually matter. And then scroll down. And what we're looking for is where my collections start because the focus for me for this particular website is on the collections. I have all the important collections in the header of the website. So, and this is very, very common as well. You'll have to do this manually sometimes to find some internal links for a specific article. Um, but yeah, this is the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to scroll and I'm going to press control C and then control A to select everything and then delete to delete everything. Scroll back to the top, click in A1 and press control V to paste it and then click anywhere, press control F click these three dots, and then you want to remove your domain. Okay. So I'm going to remove HTTPS two men dot it. Okay. And then press replace all. These are now relative internal links, which, you know, they're kind of the best for SEO. Then scroll all the way down. It's just a little bit less complicated using these and it uses less tokens as well. And then control C here. So I would like to remove the duplicates here. I'm not sure why everything is duplicated. This normally doesn't happen. But again, once you've got a list, you've you've got a list forever. So, so I'm going to use Chat GPT 3.5 for this. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to paste everything here. And I'm just going to say, "Give me a list of URLs." So scroll down. Make sure it's doing it correctly. Okay, so this is still way too many for most people. So you, you don't don't feel like you need this many. Okay, this is just, I'm a little bit weird about this and I want to try and include as many as possible, but obviously not all of these will actually be used in an article. So now you can go back to here and this is now going to be too long for the custom instructions. So what I normally do is I just paste and then just delete up to a point. Another thing you can do if you want is you can say something like, can you give me 10? internal links for an article for best Italian brands. So as you can see, now we have our main kind of brands here. So I'm just going to copy that and then you can just delete these. Just depends how you want to do it guys. Honestly, I'm just giving you different options. Again, you've got to kind of play with ChatGPT quite a lot. So yeah, just, this is how I do it. This is how I'm writing a lot of content right now. I know it seems a little bit convoluted, but this is just the way that I've found to get the best content. So I'm going to hit save. And then now you have that custom instruction forever. So all you need to do is find a keyword um, and then write an article. Okay, so I'm just going to use a random keyword method here. So we go on keyword tool.io and we just type in anything like Italian brands, for example. I've got loads of different keyword methods, guys. Like any anything will do, just find something good. So you can click on keyword suggestions, you can click on Google Trends, you can click on anything really and just see kind of what's what's hot, what's working. Swedish car brands, Italian beer brands. Or you can click on Google and you could click on questions, for example, if you wanted. You click on prepositions. This is a really, really good free tool. People say it's paid, but you, you don't need this information. You just need the keyword. Like they put it in order of popularity anyway. So you really don't need this information. Let's click on prepositions before we pick one. Italian accessory brands, that's a pretty good one. Which brands are Italian? 
What brands are popular in Italy is actually a really good one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say, please, wait, I need to go on GPT-4. You can go on DALI-3 here. I'm still experimenting with this. This isn't fully ready yet, in my opinion, for um, everyone's website. Like you can just use stock footage. You can maybe use DALI, but it's a little bit risky. And then I'm going to say, please. Okay, now I'm going to say something right here, right now. I will stop ChatGPT a lot if it's just going off on one. Okay, so we'll just see what it comes up with here. Okay, so if it doesn't do me a key takeaway table after this paragraph, I'm going to press stop. Okay, I don't want a list, so I'm going to press stop generating. I'm going to say, please give me a table, not a list. There's nothing wrong necessarily with um, lists. Lists are probably just as good as tables, to be fair. It's just I prefer tables. Again, I will read this content while it's being generated because you do need to check. So you can see here, so far so good. So to audio Napoli is tailored menswear, Napoli suits, that's fine. Santoni, handcrafted shoes, that's fine. Kitam, bespoke tailoring, that's fine. Cesare Atalini, Neapolitan tailoring, also fine. Isaia, men's luxury fashion, cool, we're fine with that. So this is why when people say you don't need to know your niche, I actually, in a way, I kind of disagree with that. Um, because you do need to read it at the same time if no one else is checking it. If you are the only person who is reading this content, you kind of need to know a little bit about the niche, at least. But you can see it does a pretty good job. Fioroni, premium knitwear, fine knitwear, modern fashion. That's all fine, to be fair. So it does do a very, very good job. Now, something it's doing right here is it is doing multiple internal links per article, which I don't want it to do. That's something I specifically told it not to do. So I would press stop generating here and I would say, please don't use a link more than once. Just use the links in the table. That's fine for me. I'm not going to do it now just because I want to show you a complete article and how it looks, etc. But just bear that in mind. I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally let this continue. Also, another thing is it's not doing any lists either. I would like a list, but I guess this one big table is enough. So. Basically, what I'm trying to say in this video is if you look at the difference between these two, okay, this wall of text is never going to rank on Google because it's just a wall of text. No one's going to read it, so it's not going to rank. But if you give everyone that comes to your article all of the information they need in the first three seconds, then you will rank on Google, okay? And this isn't a table of contents. It's nothing like that. It's literally just giving them all of the information. Popular brands in Italy, what are some popular brands? Bang, here are some popular brands. Woolrich, Sartorio Napoli, it's Antoni, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now, another thing that a lot of people say is this is too short. Okay. So we will quickly check how many words this is, but it is going to be too short for some people. 485. My sweet spot is 500 words. 485 for me is fine, to be honest with you, because this table for me is just so powerful. Tables are so unbelievably powerful if you just tell people the information they're looking for immediately. They will stay on the website to read that information and the article will rank. So again, the thing about not needing to know the niche, I think it's kind of fine. I think ChatGPT does do a really, really good job. Something that it will occasionally mess up is it will say something like buy Fioroni shoes, but Fioroni don't make shoes. Okay. And it does do that. I have seen that before. So you do need to read the content at least and try and correct it the best that you can. But in general, there's not really much editing to do. And I don't, I generally don't edit the content because I think that by giving it the internal links and giving it the custom instructions, this is now a helpful article instead of a spammy, you know, mass produced article. That's the general idea here. One extra thing is you can use Dali here and I am still experimenting with this, but you could say something like create me a featured image for this article box post. Sometimes it's a bit weird how you have to write to chat GPT, but the reason I wrote um, for this article blog post is because I wanted to kind of help it to understand that I wanted a portrait image instead of a square image, which it normally does understand. So I, I said for this article and then I just wrote blog post after because you, you do kind of have to treat it like it's stupid sometimes because it doesn't understand everything we're trying to say, basically. Another thing I wanted to mention that I completely forgot to mention in this video is the other 
content gen generations that I've made on this website. So if you actually look and if you click on something like Barnardonium, for example, this is Article Fiesta. So this hasn't been completely destroyed. It did, it, lo it lost some traction for sure, but like it hasn't been completely, you know, ruined. But this one here is super, super interesting. This is actually a chat GPT written article. And yeah, it's, it's, it's solid. And again, it's for the exact same reason. So if I actually open this up, you'll see that the very, very top, I believe, if I remember correctly, except the big, um, the big disclaimer, there is this, which is a table. Well, it's, it's a graph, but I mean, for this, you need a graph, whereas for other things, you just need a table. It just depends on, on the article. So the graph answers everyone's question. It said, the question is, how much does a tiny home cost in Indiana? The graph is, this chart represents the cost of tiny homes in Indiana. So depending on what you're trying to make, whether it's a pillar post or whether it's a blog post, you could make a graph, you can make an infographic, you can make whatever you want really. So it, it really does depend. So look at this for quality. <laughs> oh my God, that is good. Popular brands in Italy. So you just have to put this on Canva to change this. You can use Canva Pro, or if you're good at editing, you could use Photopia for free, for example, just to remove that extra L. But apart from that, it's completely perfect. And then the other one is also pretty good. Just has a double A here. Not really an issue. You can easily remove that. Or another thing you do is you can say, can you create Can you create me an infographic for this article? Okay, not massively happy with the results here. I have I hope they haven't made it made it bad. I really, really hope they haven't. I'm gonna say, can you make um I mean, this is good. The quality is good, but like to make this postable, it would just need too much time. So for me, it's just not worth it. And then this one here would be good if it was massive and everything was correct. But again, it's just, it's just going to take too long to make it good. So I, I've, I've said, can you make them a bit more simple and vector vector? I hope that works. We'll see. Maybe they've just already ruined a beautiful thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they had already done that. I can't wait for the API. I really, really can't wait. It's going to be absolutely amazing, but I think they might delay it because of copyright issues, because people are probably making things that they're not really allowed to make and selling them or using them commercially. And although OpenAI gives you the right to use things, they might not themselves have that right. Anyway, that's just a theory. I don't know if that's true, but if you actually look at this um, prompt, it's using brands, which, um, yeah, I mean, it's using brands. They, they obviously all have copyright. So something like this could be salvaged. But again, this is why I, I'm not using it really. Um, I just wanted to show people. The featured images, though, are looking amazing. And I'm really, really happy with these. And I think we're going to probably start using these pretty soon for basically everything. But yeah, infographics, I really hope they haven't ruined it already. But I can see why they've had to change it because I'm, I'm sure some people were doing some things they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> with it. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I really hope this helps. And I really wanted to talk about this because there is a huge difference between bad content and good content. And I am experimenting and you're all here for it. So thanks for watching and peace out.